the phone. He said, happy Valentine's Day. I was like, yeah. He goes, oh, what are you doing? I go, what's good? Like, very... Yeah, like, what the fuck are you calling for? What's good? I'm not giving him any information about what my I'm fucking yeah. doing. What's good? He's like, oh, well, you're going to get a call tomorrow. Just answer it because some guys are going to sing to you. I'm like, you know what? I don't want shit from you. Yeah. And then I just went in on him. Yeah. I told him three things that she told me because mm -hmm. I wanted him to know that I knew yeah. details that right. he had lied to me about and whatever. I told him three things. And as I'm telling him, he's going, Kelly, 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 in between each thing, Kelly. I keep going. I don't stop because if I stop and give him a chance, he yeah. will gaslight me. He will yeah. tell me they're not true. He will yep. tell me she's a bitch. He will tell me she's a liar. He will tell yeah. me she's a whole, all the things, right. all the things. It's a cycle. Mm -hmm. It's a cycle. So, and I, and I honestly, I can't quite remember the last things <laughs> I said to him, but I believe I repeated twice. I said, you have no home here. You have nothing here for you. You yeah. have no home here. Yeah. And he's still saying Kelly, and I hung up. Good. I had to. Good. And doing the research I've been doing, a narcissist loves attention, period. You could be yelling at him, and he actually likes when you're in pain. Yeah. He, he, he gets gratification from put, making people in pain. He just does. So, but this was for me. Yeah. This was for me. I wanted him to know that I was finding things out and detailed things. Yeah. Things that he didn't want me to know mm -hmm. about and then hidden for me, yeah. from me. I wanted him to know that. I wanted him to know that it was over, 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 right. over. And... It was a fury I needed to release from my body. Mm -hmm. That's good. And it was good. As long it was, as you feel good about it. It, it was know? good. It was good for me. I mean, it was something I had to do for myself. Mm -hmm. And, um, period. Period. Because now I won't feed him. Yeah. That was his last meal. Yeah. He had his last meal in jail on Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. Because now I'm I'm going to starve him the way he starved me of attention and affection. Yeah. After showering me with it. Yeah. And then withdrawing it. The worst thing you could do to a narcissist is to not feed them mm -hmm. and that's good or bad reaction he wants to know he has control over me absolutely he wants to know i'm thinking about him and crying about him and yeah all the things about him because everything's been about him mm -hmm. the cycle is about about him it's about feeding him more yep. so um I don't have anything else to say to him. Good. Honestly, he he did. The book I'm listening to, I'll, I'll we'll put a picture up. And actually, I love it so very much. I ordered it in hardback because I want to read it and listen to it and actually take notes and process it in my own way. You know, through journal entries, mm -hmm. a bit at a time. Um, when I'm ready, but, um, the lady's like, don't tell him what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. Don't tell him how you're feeling. Don't tell him what you know. Don't tell him your secrets. Mm -hmm. Anything you give him, he will use against you. Absolutely. Anything and everything you give him, he will use it against you. If you say, I hate my ass, I wish it was smaller or bigger or whatever. Yeah. He will take that, put it in his bank and bring it up later mm -hmm. to feed.
feed your insecurity and keep you with him. Mm -hmm. If you think you're not worthy of anyone else, why would you leave him? It's, it's so much, it's so much. So, and you know what? I've thought too, I'm like, if I told him this, if I told him that, but anything I tell him would be wasted on him. Yep. He cannot understand how to love someone. Nope. How to trust someone. He would always tell me, oh, I have trust issues. I have trust issues. It's no wonder you're a fucking compulsive liar. Yeah, and so you think everybody else is. Yes, you know yep. what a bad human being is yep. capable of doing. And that's the thing no about wonder. these narcissist people. They are such liars, and they're constantly throwing it in your... What are you doing? What are you doing? Yes. Looking at you. Well, because you're the cheater and the liar and the abuser that you put it on us and make us feel like we're doing something wrong. And something, 100%, and something, and I don't want to go on and on about this all the time. I'm catching you up, but something that was riveting that I learned yesterday was that they will set you up for the future. For instance, as an example, in the book, the woman said, for instance, the guy's a narcissist, right? So he'll go to his girlfriend or wife, he'll be like, yeah, there's a, I have a new coworker, you know, her name is whatever. And yeah, we're, we've been talking a lot. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Now he's baiting her. Uh -huh. Okay. So he's baiting you to say, oh, well, ask more questions. Why? Oh, well, how, how often do you talk? Or what do you guys talk about? Or you ask him anything. Yeah. He goes, why are you interrogating me? What the fuck? And then he blows up, right? Uh -huh. Now, this is a setup. He could be completely not doing anything wrong with this woman. Yeah. But he's training you to be fearful of questioning him in the future. Mm -hmm. When you do see a red flag, when you do see some shady shit, yeah. right? You go back in your memory bank and be like, damn, well, maybe I shouldn't ask him because of how he blew up that time. Right. Because after he blows up, then he's going to withdraw all his love and affection. Yeah. And that is our punishment, right? Right. So I don't want him to retreat. So I'm not going to say anything next time. Or I'm going to need more proof to say anything next time. Yeah. He's actually setting you up. Yeah. To not confront him. Not hold his his behavior to an accountable level. Yeah. And he has no boundaries. So he's not breaking any rules in his, his mind. Yeah. Even if he has affairs. Did you know there's something called triangul triangulation? He purposely sets up a triangle. So you feel like you're competing for his affection against someone else. Wow. My husband did that. Oh, mine did too. I, I know. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's on purpose. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because they love to think they're the fucking shit. They yeah. love to feel they're the fucking bee's knees, the cherry on top, the everything. And yeah. They love it. So if he thinks, oh, shit, I got two women fighting over me. Pff, yeah, I'm the yeah. man. Dude, you know how much you're hurting these women? They don't care. They don't care. They do not care about anybody's feelings but their own. Whatever they can get in the moment is what they want. Yeah. They don't care about Drugs, anybody. Women. And they will use anything sex, against you. All of it. Especially your, the whole thing you said about like not letting them know things because they'll use it against you. When mom and Rich divorced and we were all so torn up about it. Our mom and stepdad. Yeah. And we... So, and I was like 28 at the time and I was so hurt and so upset and I'll never forget. I don't know how long it was later, but he was like, oh yeah, um, you're just like your mom and that's why she got left and why you'll get <gasps> left one day too. I didn't know he ever said that to oh, you. Yeah. Oh, there's so, you don't know a quarter of what well, he's done or to. said. I want to. But that is an example of when they will use a hurt against you. Yes, gaslighting. You know. Yeah, because it ch it it changes reality 
your conception of reality it, it, it's awful it ties in mom and him yeah. and, it, and the pain and, of the and divorce supposedly so what you're doing yeah when it wasn't your fault and it wasn't no. my fault it had nothing we, to do with us do you think i asked to be cheated on for 13 years right. do you think i asked nope. to be pushed and pulled back and forth feeling right. loved and then deserted and yeah. ignored and abandoned right well, at least you felt loved at times. <laughs> yeah, I at least. But that keeps you in it. Yeah. It no, wasn't genuine. It wasn't it's because he did love me. Right. It wasn't. It was because I was still feeding him. Yeah. Most narcissists cannot stay in a relationship for 30 years. Yeah. I was a fucking amazing codependent. Absolutely. Narcissist feeder. Yeah. I was a feeder. Yep. So he he caught a good one, man. In me, he was lucky yep. because he had his home life and he had his whore. Yep. Gosh, he was getting it from all sides. What a lucky guy. Well, his luck finally ran out. Yep. Because supposedly, supposedly she's done. But even if she's not, she's going to jail because she has many charges against her. Um, and I, I'm not going to put it out there. I'm not going to read the charges and be petty, No. but the pettiness I will be is if any of my close friends want her case number, I will send you a link Great. <laughs> just to follow along. You, you know, know what? The thing is, is she's as messed up as he is. She's worse. And I'm sure that this is not well between them. And you know what? Oh, I of hope it's not. not. Because then he'll leave you alone yes. and let them run off into the dark, into yes. the darkness together. That would be a gift. Because that is actually, you know, they're both going to have court cases now. Yep. So maybe they'll just run away together and abscond. And because he it told won't be me, your problem. he told me she's she's going to jump. She's not going to show up. Yeah. She doesn't want to show up. She well, has many felonies against her. Yeah. And um, cute, right? And. Um, well, and not only that, if she does go to jail, what happens to him? Right. So Well, he won't be fed. Exactly. That's from what her. I'm saying. So, well, she'll have to be replaced well, like me. Absolutely, but it's that's not an easy thing unless you have somebody waiting in the wings. Exactly. So, the good thing is is maybe they will go abscond together. I mean, she ha he has this other girl in the wings. Now, yeah. yeah. Now I knew something was up with that one too. Well, come on. Uh, here I am, right? Don't, saying, don't even, don't even <laughs> say, no, <laughs> shut up. Don't say, do that. Saying, I'm not convinced. No, but, um, I am. But the thing is, though, it doesn't have to be, there's many ways to feed a narcissist. And he has her, like this other person that yeah. he's known for about five years. Um. He's going to get fed and be fed yep. any which way he can find it. He will try to come back to me. Yep. Guaranteed. Because, oh, God, I fed that man. Oh, I fed him so good. <laughs> and um, obviously um, his girlfriend did too. Yeah. And um, so is this other chick. So, but, you know, that's not my problem. No. What I've come to is his problems are not my problems, no. especially after the divorce. I'm tied to him legally now. I mean, for now, but his problems are not my problems. Her problems are not my problems. And this other chick, no, no not my problems. His girlfriend's asking me for something that I have that mm -hmm. she wants. Some information. Yeah. I'm not going to fucking give it to her ass. I owe her shit. Yep. And this other girl uh, was in direct communication with him, you know, throughout jail and stuff. Because, you know, his girlfriend got him arrested for stealing her car. So, he's mad at her right now. But he has this other one that he can communicate with. Now, mind you, these two women are communicating as well. Right. They supposedly hate each other, but they're communicating. <laughs> me and her, me and the girlfriend are communicating. I hate her. She's my nemesis on this planet. <laughs> But this is we're sick. it, it it's, it's more than a triangle, right? Because right. now there's three women in him. Yeah. And and um then because the other girl will go, Oh, did you hear from her? She got her car back. 
Well, obviously you are, bitch, because I haven't told anybody that but my sister. Yeah, yeah. I'm not telling people. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a big, big it's, mess. He is fucking great at this. Like, yeah. if there was a doctor that wanted to study him and his behavior, they should. To help people in the future avoid He's it. He's no special. He's, He's nothing not. special. No. Because my There's, ex-husband is way better than yours really at this absolutely how absolutely how? he because he's stronger willed he's more vocal yeah he's he, more of a he's presence. gregarious it, your husband will hide in the corner true and nobody will even suspect what he's doing true you know which is is in itself maybe better but mine he has so many people loving him and idolizing true. him that don't really know him true you know, and, and when the, all the stuff that happened between us happened, nobody believed it. They thought I was lying. That's the thing I'm not getting because he said F you to everyone. Yes. Now everyone's going, what the fuck is up? Yeah. And a lot, a lot of them are saying it's the drugs, yeah. but I know better because drug fueled narcissists, if it was the drugs, he would have only been doing it to me on the drugs. Right. He's been doing this for the lifetime of our... Right. But, like, but yours was the greatest guy. So friendly. Oh, he would drop outgoing. everything. Uh-huh. To, to, he help, to someone? help someone. If because it felt thing. fed his ego. Exactly. He, on oh, how great of a person he is. He helped everybody move. But when I had to move... There's nobody. <laughs> he did not help. The first time we ever had to move out of a place was because he basically left me and this was literally in the second year of our relationship so bravo to me for staying oh, for 16 more years um really yeah he did not help me move out of our first apartment i had uh two children under the age of two literally one that was only like six months old and i had to move out of this apartment by myself and thank god his dad helped me move the heavy things yeah um but this was the kind of guy he was but yet everybody he would move and, and he had a girl too that would pin us against each other uh -huh. it was his friend his best friend of course a stripper of course that he wasn't fucking no of course of not. course not oh, you know not, who i'm talking about oh of too. course i do my <laughs> husband was probably fucking her too <laughs> exactly. because exactly. yeah exactly. and he would friends. you know what he yeah. would tell me i just got to put this in there you know what he would tell me he's like she thinks everybody wants her. I want to be the one that doesn't. I want to be the it. one that don't show her any attention because that's what she wants. Bullshit. Right. You, you, yeah. No anyway. doubt on that. Yeah, so I have much experience with this. Yeah. I've already been down this road. But I'm let's surprised. talk more about how people didn't believe you because that is, that is very common. Oh, absolutely. No one believed me. They, no he, one believed me except his father. Okay. And my children and my family. Something they do after, you know, the split is, did he go around talking badly about you? Well, he went to prison. Oh, okay. So, but we had to go through the court system. But he was still talking blamed, to people on the phone? Oh, yeah. I mean, it was my fault. Oh, it, I okay. caused him to create this mess. Okay, yeah, um, of course. In court, it's he never tried their to put fault. me on blast that I did something wrong. Um, it was a joke. Yeah. And I literally leaned into the microphone and said, <laughs> yep. Like, <laughs> yes, I did do that. But that does not excuse the situation. Exactly. You know? So the it, one just, little thing he it's told hilarious could, could... what a victim these narcissists are. Yeah. When they create this havoc in everybody's life. Because it's never their fault. Oh, this thing's moving there. Ah, Sorry, guys. We, we hope um, you guys aren't. Yeah. Um, but yeah. It's I mean, never I, their fault. It's always someone else's fault. He was mad at her for putting him in jail. Right, for doing he the car what he is being accused of. Trashy ho. Right. Yeah. Be mad at her. Yeah. For you stealing her car. Yeah. It was a decision you made, dude. <laughs> right. But anyway, anyway, it's like, you know, my challenge now, I've been having a hard week, but my challenge that I'm giving to myself is to balance my mental energy better and not be so overly consumed with thinking about the past. Yeah. Because now that I have this new confirmed information from the girlfriend... 
it hurts. I'm like, that is what I saw. That's what I saw. That's yeah. what I saw. <clears throat> it makes you relive the experience again in a way. Yeah. But I know that feeling that pain, I feel if I run away from it, if I don't acknowledge it, if I don't feel it, I am going to hinder my growth. Because part of my healing is... I want to say being angry that he did put me through this hurt. And, and I can't even hold on to anger forever because that's still feeding it, mm -hmm. you know, feeding him. Even if I don't communicate with him, he's still c consuming my mind mm -hmm. and spirit. But um, I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, feeling your feelings. Oh, and that way it doesn't but yes. Growth. So this is hurting. I'm. And, and mind you, I just want to say that when she's telling me these things, I'm not responding. I'm not giving her my take on that day. I'm not saying, that's fucked up. Fuck you. You know, I'm not. I will not feed her with any response than yeah. the next question I have, which I'm done the last thing I learned was about sup that Super Bowl flag that was huge. <laughs> Super Bowl flag, literally. Um, that red flag that she confirmed, that hurt me because, I mean, it could have changed the course of the rest of our relationship, mm -hmm. you know, if I had just found out then. Right. And, and I think to myself, did he have his claws in me deep enough to where I wouldn't have left mm -hmm. if I had only known? I don't know the answer, but um, it confirms that I wasn't crazy and um, I don't need to torture myself anymore mm -hmm. knowing more. Right. I know what I know, mm -hmm. and that is it's over. There's no hope. For us, but there's a lot of hope for me. That's it. And um, walking away, taking care of myself, learning who I am when not taking care of someone else. Right. Um, is my journey, is my next journey. Um, and learning the signs. Staying away from people who show those signs. And I'm not just talking relationship. People could be toxic in many ways. Mm -hmm. Coworkers, friends, family. Learning the signs across the board. Staying away from people who do not deserve my energy, my light, my positivity, my help that mm -hmm. I always offer. Yeah, so... That's my journey. That's where I'm at. That's where I want to leave it. And um, yeah, so thanks for thanks for everybody. If if and now I say this at the very end of this video, but if you didn't watch part one and two of uh, something like dramatic changes in Kel's life, um, I would go back to those. And yeah. um, the last episode we filmed was about our mom passing. So 20 days from the time, January 9th, he disappeared and didn't want to be found. 20 days later, our mom died. Blows my mind. Mm -hmm. But hey, I've been through what rough shit before. Shit that they don't even know about yet. Mm -hmm. You guys out there. Yet. Yeah. I'll share it. I'll share it eventually. I'll share it sometime. Because I want my pain and what I've been through to help other people. Yeah. Like, what else is it for then? Right. Um, except for me to grow as an individual, as a person. But I want to help other people. And by writing these things, maybe I'll write a book one day. Maybe I'll write articles. Maybe... I don't know, yeah. but, but the future is 
so bright. Yeah. And because I don't have anyone holding me back. So instead of a dad joke, I have a, my, I wrote my, um, I colored that. Aww. So read that. Even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise by Victor Hugo. 100%. That's appropriate, huh? 100%. And you know, I will cry myself to sleep some nights. I can't, okay, so I can't be in silence at night. I've mm -hmm. been um, putting on different frequency YouTube mm -hmm. live channels yeah. for healing. And then at night, I put um, the sound of rain on at night. Mm -hmm. And I have to leave it on all night. If I, I've tr I tried last, I tried last night to go to sleep in silence and I couldn't in my mind and I ended up crying and yeah. not for as long this time, <laughs> Yeah. but I had to put the rain back on and um, I want to know from you out there, regardless of what you've gone through in the past, what is your wind down bedtime routine? Now I've started implementing like when I get home and I know like I'm not going to go anywhere or see anyone, you know, outside of the house, I'll like take my makeup off and moisturize and, you know, go about my evening, but I'm finding it difficult at night to stop researching narcissism, stop research, replaying, uh, the past. Yeah. Um, I do have a book. Chris, will you grab that real quick? Mm -hmm. um, it's called How to Meet Yourself by Dr. Nicole LaPrera. And I follow her on Instagram. She's also known as the holistic psychologist. Let's see, make sure it's in the... Yeah, there we go. Um, amazing, amazing Instagram. How to Meet Yourself. I think at night... I think at like maybe seven or eight o'clock, do no more of the audio book and go and maybe journal and do this. And, yeah. and it, she's asking you questions, you know, what's your self care routine? How do you see the future? Yeah. And she does, you know, she teaches you breathing exercises. Um, I think this will get me back and focused on me and mm -hmm. off of him yeah. because I have to change the direction. And you're right. Like I said, like you said, you can learn all the things, mm -hmm. but you're just staying in it yep. and replaying and replaying and replaying. And you're right. So I'm, I'm going to start doing this at night, but tell me, what do you do to take care of yourself at night to wind down, slow your brain down? Do you light a candle? Do you, What's your bedtime routine? And if you made it this far in the video, put some bed emojis or sleepy time emojis <laughs> or whatever you do for bed um, because that's my, my main struggle right now. I'm, I'm great in the morning. I'm like, it's a new day. It's yeah. going to be a great day. I go to work because I have to do the things, right? Yeah. I'm still an adult. I can't freaking lay in bed. Um, I have bills to pay and, um, but yeah, I can't become too obsessed with, yeah. you know, in the podcasts we've been listening to, I have to be careful with too, mm -hmm. cause you know, it brings up a lot of stuff for me and yeah. it's not entertaining. I mean, it's not for inter it's entertaining, but it's still self-help yeah. driven. Um, I could start an audio book that is a tr not true crime but was it fiction or non-fiction i always get those non-fact is non-fiction right what what do you which one are you talking about just like a thriller like a um oh, a entertain a fiction. For, <clears throat> fiction okay starting a, a book of fiction yeah and taking my brain yeah and maybe i could do that before bed too as i'm going to sleep because oh. you could set it to stop after um each mm -hmm. chapter if you want mm -hmm. anyway Anything else in closing besides a joke? Well, my bedtime routine is, as I always play, a comedy. 
like Frasier or a sitcom. A sitcom. Okay. Because, um, and it's always something I've already seen because I want to relax and I don't want to get invested. And yeah. So I just, for me personally, I always end my night with like some kind of, I'll watch Dateline all day or, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then I switch over to like Frasier's my thing right now. Okay. And I have my tea and I'll have a little snack and have my doggies and that's like I just relax and I end up falling asleep with the TV on yeah but I'll start to fall asleep and, and then, then I'll wake it. up and turn it off okay um and I always have like rain going because I have like the baby monitor oh. type um it's a baby sound machine okay. and I, I literally that thing is never off I never turn it off it's on oh. during the day it's on all the time you have it just okay I just I like have it that. to drown out noise mm -hmm. and so it's on 24 7 in my room mm -hmm. And I don't even notice it anymore. But for when I sleep, I don't hear anything else but that. It's like having a fan running. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But it's freezing right now. So, right. you know, I can't do that. <laughs> so that's, yeah, I have that on all the time. And I've tried mm -hmm. the frequencies and that. And, uh -huh. and But I find myself waking up to them. Oh, yeah. In the middle of the night. And then that's I'm like, why I can't do them either. I cannot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't um, go to sleep with music playing with words. Me either. Me either. Because I'll go there. Yeah. Um, I know it doesn't work for me. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll put in the comment section, some of the f YouTube frequency videos. Yeah. Um, I like the lives cause they don't play commercials. Yeah. I'll, I've started playing that at work. It's, it's like a background, just a slow yeah. moving. I don't like the high tones. No. There's some frequencies that are high toned and that yeah. revs me up and, and that's not what I yeah. need right now. Um, another so. thing that's really, I really like is the soft jazz mm -hmm. that has a really pretty background on YouTube. Okay. It'll be a coffee shop or you're looking out the window or okay. but the sound is just very mellow. It doesn't have words. It's all just very like coffee shop type music. It's not intrusive. It is not. Yeah. And I play that ever since mom has passed. I've been playing that like at home, the baby, if I have the babies, they'll be playing their toys. And I just have that on and we're just, I'm just sitting there watching the kids, you yeah. know, and it's just very relaxing to everybody. Yeah. Um, so for me that I play that in the car too. And, and I can't even do like soft jazz or on like Pandora. Jazz right. On because that they play regular music and anyway. Yeah. It but brings for me, stuff up. it's funny how you have to find the thing that works for you. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So. Awesome. Good news. Good feedback. Yeah. That's a good way to end this. Yeah. All right, guys. Go well, ahead hold on. And, uh, leave those um, yeah. emojis and leave stuff. Leave the emojis. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna just give one dad joke. Um, Karen, thank you for sending these to me. They came right on time. I got them this morning, and so here we go. A man said he went to see a psychiatrist, and he told the psychiatrist, "I think I'm a dog." The psychiatrist responded, get off my couch. <laughs> anyway. That's cute. That's cute. All right, guys. Well, hang around. Give us your feedback. Um, we appreciate your support. Bye, crafters. Bye.